Welcome to today's computer science lesson. Today's lesson will be on loops in CodeMonkey. And loops are a very important idea in computer science because they're part of the reason why computers are so powerful. A loop in computer science uh, lets us repeat code however many times we want. So for example, say we want our monkey to step 10, 10,000 times. Without a loop, we would have to write step 10, that line of code, 10,000 times ourselves. Instead though, we have loops. And a loop, let's say, could look like two lines of code where we tell the computer that it should be repeating step 10, 10,000 times. So by using a loop, we can save a lot of time and with just two lines of code, do the same exact thing that 10,000 lines of code might take. Let's look at examples of loops in CodeMonkey. In CodeMonkey, make your way to challenge number 21. That's the beginning of loop land in CodeMonkey. So if you look over here, you'll see a line of code on line one that says two dot times followed by space and an arrow. This line of code here is setting up a loop and it's saying that we wanna repeat something two times. If you forget how to type this, no worries. If you look right here, there's a little button where if you click it, it'll set up a loop for you. Now, something else that's important to know about a loop is that it repeats whatever is inside of it. And to put something inside of a loop, we need to add something called indentation, which is four spaces right here. There's two ways to do that. You can either hit the tab key on your keyboard, which automatically adds four spaces. If you're not sure where to find the tab key, you can also hit your space bar four times, right? Now, a loop will only repeat something that is inside of it. So let's say you had this. Right now, there's nothing inside of your loop because there's nothing indented right below it. If you had this, turn left would repeat two times, but step 15, since it's outside of the loop, wouldn't repeat at all. It would just happen once. And finally, if you had this, turn left and step 15 would both repeat two times. Now, my biggest piece of advice to you is to always start off by saying what's happening. And we can do that by pressing the run button. So notice here that the monkey turned left and then stepped 15 times, twice, because we have a loop here that says to do it two times. The next piece of advice I have for you is to think about how many times do we need the monkey to repeat the code? Usually it has something to do with the number of bananas, but not always. In this case though, it does. So let's see, we need the monkey to turn left and step 15, one, two, three times. So I'm just going to change the number right there to three and then see what happens. And there you go. Now I've skipped ahead to level 24 to help you walk through how to create a loop from scratch when there's no code there for you. So again, if you forget how to write a loop, there's this handy times button right here that you can click and it'll set one up for you. The next thing we need to do is think about what is the first step the monkey needs to take to grab that first banana? So look at this monkey and look at the first banana. It seems like the monkey needs to just step forward and we can measure the distance with this ruler. All right, and it looks like our monkey needs to step forward 13 times. All right, and once the monkey has grabbed the first banana, the next thing the monkey needs to do is face the next banana. So I'm going to ask my monkey to turn, it looks like, to the right. All right, and that's the very first step. Now, how many times does our monkey need to do that? Well, it needs to grab one, two, three bananas. So I would say three times. All right, and now, I'm not 100% sure that this will work, but I'm going to press my run button to see where it takes us. Okay, and this one happened to be correct, but I always recommend hit the run button, even if you're not sure what will happen, and just make small changes, small fixes as you go along. 
Like I said, sometimes the number of times we need to repeat a loop doesn't always have to do with the number of bananas. And my biggest piece of advice for level 25 is to look for a pattern. I will give you a big hint for this level, which is focus on how to grab two bananas at a time. And finally, I will give you advice on the last level for this lesson, which is level 30. For a lesson like this, I really recommend taking some time to plan out what needs to happen. You can do that in your head or you can do that on a piece of paper and just write down the steps of what needs to happen. So for example, in this level, the very first thing that needs to happen is that our monkey needs to get to the turtle. So your first line of code should involve something that helps the monkey get to the turtle. Once the monkey is on the turtle, it's easy to set up a loop where then the monkey can move forward, grab a banana, and move backward, get back on the turtle, and the turtle can move forward just a little bit each time to get the monkey to the next banana, and repeat one, two, three times. If you have any other questions for me, please feel free to reach out via email, a private comment on Google Classroom, or via talking points. I hope you all have a great week and continue staying happy and healthy.